Here we go. We're down to the bottom now. All right. Here we go. This is what we got going on. This thing was actually filled up with oil all the way. So first things first, let me set this back down. <clears throat> um, this bolt was actually loose holding on this uh, little cooler, oil cooler deal. And um, so right away I noticed that this little one looked like the gasket is messed up around here and that bolt was loose. Letting me know that something was going on here. But since we're all the way down here, I have to take a look and see what else we got. You're going to need these special uh, inverted torques or reverse torques or whatever they call them. So you can get those off. I bought the set from O'Reilly's, $24. Um, so you're going to need those to get them bolts out. <clears throat> okay. Um, let me see what else. Okay, so after lifting this up so I can check down further... I prop this up you can see i got all my intake holes covered because you don't want nothing going down in there and this was just filled up with oil you couldn't even see them knock sensors down in there you couldn't even see this is all under oil okay and so antifreeze as well so we're gonna have to do an oil change you can see where uh rubbers sit rubbers meet rubbers ride okay on here and stuff so we have to put all new. We're gonna need intake gasket set pretty much. Okay, hopefully it's not too much money. <clears throat> but in order to get all that oil out of there, I went ahead and got my fluid recovery pump from Harbor Freight. Old trusty. They work a long time. As long as you don't use gas in them, the gas will eat them up and they won't work anymore. But for oils and fluids, they work great. So I simply pumped all of that stuff out. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to start ordering this gasket set. So, there it is, guys. You can see what I did. I just took the fuel rails off and then uh, kind of just held this thing over to the side by some bailing wire because these coil, and I just undid them from the coils. You can see that way I have to try to keep fighting with these stupid things to get them off. Okay. <clears throat> so... And I did try to pull these bolts out, and I couldn't, I'm not able to just pull them out, so I wasn't worried about them dropping anywhere. So I could prop it up, <clears throat> and it should stay eh, for a little bit at least. But anyway, so that's what we got going on. I'm gonna replace all these gaskets. This tube was a pain. I had to work it, work it, work it to get them out because of this O-ring. Of course, that sits down in that little, that big hole right there. So keep in mind, you are gonna have to wiggle it and wiggle it and kind of pull, but don't do it hard. You don't want to break nothing. I'm gonna clean this off real good, inspect it, for, inspect it for damage to make sure there's no cracks or anything. Clean it off real good before I go back with everything. Um, I'm believing it was just some seals <clears throat> that was causing this issue. Um, but like I said, I am going to inspect this very carefully, this neck, to make sure that nothing is cracked or leaked or this thing is causing the leak so there it is guys this is your oil leak that was spilling and then running down on the back of the tram mission so there it is guys you got any questions comments go ahead and leave them in the um comment section i'll try to help you as best i can here it is all right thank you